And hello everyone, Peter here once again, this time messing around with some Mudder brand water brushes. Uh, they did send me these for free, so I figured I'd give them a shot, make a little video with them. And uh, obviously I don't mess around with this sort of stuff very often, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But sometimes it's better that way. It's good to mix it up, try some other stuff, try different medium, or in this case, flabbergastingly enough, try some color every now and then. They also sent me this little pack of watercolors with it. I'm not sure how all these watercolors work and it's kind of overwhelming to see all of them at once. So I took it easy and in this video I actually only used one shade of green and one shade of yellow uh, just because I didn't want to use like a whole rainbow of colors at once and they get all muddled and meddled and I'm afraid if I mix too many of them I'll just get some weird shade of brown or something and they won't look like a vibrant rainbow or something like I envisioned and I'll just make some weird rookie color mistakes or something. I don't know. It just takes a lot more experimenting, but experimenting is good. I've said that before. Uh, anyways, these brushes are pretty cool. They, you can just have like, you just like fill them with water. I've tried the Pentel brushes before too. I've heard people say bad things about those, but that worked fine for me. One of my favorite things to do, which you'll see at the end of this video, is uh, I have some invisible printing ink. And I've done this with all the water brushes I've ever had. Invisible printing ink that only shows up under a black light. And then you can hide secret messages places, uh, you know, just write them all over your, all over your, your drawings, all of your paintings, all over skulls, people's faces and everything. And then it, it's completely invisible until you shine a black light on it. And that ink works great. Even You can even put normal ink in these, which I've done also. Sometimes I get a little over overwhelmed by the different types of ink. There's like pigmented acrylic ink. Uh, super black Indian ink, uh, Higgins or something. I don't know, even know sometimes if the differences are just the brand names or actually what the ink is made of. Anyways, this is pretty simple. For the most part, all I did here was just put water in the pens and then dip it in the, dip it in the actual paints and I felt like everything went fairly well. After I had kind of combined a weird splash of the green and the yellow, uh, I, mean, I obviously wasn't aiming for anything here. After I had combined a weird splash of the green and the yellow on the paper there and then let it dried. Um, I don't know, some parts of it were very faint and I couldn't even see what I was doing because there was too much glare on the paper from the wetness of the paint. But sometimes I would just stand up and look at it from a different angle. Anyways, after it all dried, I was fairly happy with it. Then I grabbed like a pen like I normally use. I kind of regressed back to my, to my comfort zone, you know. And then I outlined a bunch of the contours I saw there in the and the watercolors I had laid out and I outlined a bunch of those and then I went and I started just doing a whole boatload of stippling just in all the little pockets I thought I saw all these little nooks and crannies and around the edges of stuff and maybe kind of fanning out from you know just all the little places so it looked like I mean I didn't really plan this but you know a couple of people have commented on like the Instagram posts and stuff that this does kind of look like maybe like a pea or a cabbage exploding or something. Yeah, that's fine with me. That's, I don't, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. I just like looking at it, you know, so, but yeah, these, uh, these brushes work pretty good for me. I never, like I said, I don't have much experience using water brushes and I was actually doing some of this on stream on Twitch. Uh, and some people were like recommending other brands saying they, they like these or those. And I just like, I just don't know, like with pens, like with fine liners and stuff, I've used like a thousand different brands. Well, probably not that, probably like 10, but these, I just, um, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen. Probably the one thing that bu bugged me the most was just like the lids. Like it was hard to, uh, on, like these brand, these brushes come with like different size tips if you buy a pack of them. Some there's like a really, a really, really fine brush tip and then it goes all the way up to like a, like a more bushy brush tip. And sometimes it's hard to get the lid on those bushy ones uh, without like bending a couple of the bristles back or something. And then if you put the lid on the back of the pen, sometimes it feels like, uh, the lid could come off really easily. In fact, it does come off really easily, but I guess that's not really the end of the world. You can, you can, you can still make art. Yeah. 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 I had fun with this. I don't know. This is like, uh, like I mentioned before with some of my other watercolors I've done in the past, it's kind of like reverse coloring, you know, with coloring, you add the lines first and then add in the color. And this one, I added the color first and then added in the lines. So kind of like put the color in and then kind of trace some of the con, some of the major contours you see and, it's uh, it's all kind of, kind of uh, satisfying. It is satisfying. I would do it again probably later. Maybe try adding a few more colors in, to add a little more visual variety or something. I have no idea. There's definitely lots of potential here. 
Oh yeah, here at the end you can see me messing around with the uh, with the invisible ink with the black light shining on it. That was all very very magical and mystical and enlightening. And I got it all in my hands, and it's a good time. Also, that stuff smells really weird. I think I gave myself a headache. But yeah, I just had the ink and the ink in the pen, and it, the whole pen was glowing under the light, and I felt like I was a wizard. Huh. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. There's uh, links to these pens below the video if you're interested, and uh, see you later. Bye bye. Good goodbye.